stable is a bend and put it what you could. Writer, author, public speaker, but most importantly, a youth capacity development enthusiast. Please permit me, I'm not going to take much of your time, I just quickly want to share with you what I call the concept of consanguinity and a sense of entitlement. The concept of consanguinity and a sense of entitlement. Now, because of the nature of what I do, I, you know, I've had the rare privilege to travel basically um, the nooks and cranny of Nigeria, the north, the south, the west, and the east, right? Um, the six geopolitical zones. I'm, within all of these um, um, times, I've had the cost to also interact with youths, millennials, which are basically my tribes. There's this very disturbing trend that is beginning to grow among millennials, right? I, every time I think about it, I cringe on the inside. It's about consanguinity. Now, what do you mean by consanguinity? Consanguinity simply means the, 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 the fact that we share the same ancestral origin, right? From the same kinship, we share, share the same kinship. You know, there are certain people, certain youths who have grown with this sense of entitlement that for the fact that they are related to certain people or they share the same ancestral origin with certain people, you know, so they feel that it is now their responsibility to leech off such people, to leave off such people. So because I feel that I come from a certain place, by a certain circle of people, there are certain things that is entitled to me, right, by virtue of my place of origin. Now, that is entirely wrong in itself. That is entirely wrong. The fact that as a youth who have two legs and two hands and you have a brain and you can think, the fact that you come from certain places or you are related to certain people does not necessarily mean that you don't have the authority to begin to live off certain people because they are rich or because they are worthy. No, it doesn't give you that room. Not at all. Because everything you need to succeed is right on the inside of you. So if you have people who are worthy and they care about you, it's because they are magnanimous. If they extend a hand of fellowship to you, it's because of their magnanimity. They are not, in quote, obligated to care for you. They are not, in quote, obligated to like you. If they do, it's because they are magnanimous and because they are good people. But you shouldn't take that for granted. So also goes the sense of entitlement. There are certain things you don't ever get to that point in your life where you think you are entitled to. You are, not enti you are entitled only to your struggles and to your success. Whatever you become is your fault. Whether you become a success is your fault. Whether you become a failure is your fault. You are not entitled to things that should be dropped on your lap. That is not what works. Because if everybody had sat down and said, you know what, I'm entitled to this, I'm entitled to that because of where I come from. Then the question is, who is going to make the transformation that we need in the country? Who is going to make the transformation that we need in our world? So, your life is your responsibility. And you should take care 